Welcome to today's DDRX. Our anchoring scripture is Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is the substance of things of for, the evidence of things not seen. Today I want to talk about tested faith. There are times God will test your faith. And the purpose is to grow your faith. James 1.3 says, Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. You know, for example, Abraham, God demanded great sacrifices from him. In Genesis 22, 1-2, God asked him to sacrifice his only son. He was tested and he passed the test. Should we talk about Gideon in Judges 7? And Judges 7-7, seven, seven, you know, God demanded this man to reduce his army from 33,000 to 300 to fight a war. And this man passed the test. We also read about the wife of a prophet in 2 Kings 4, you know, 2 Kings 4 from verses 1 to 8. You know, God, when Elijah, Elisha visited this woman, Elisha said she must prepare extensively, even without any form of blessing in sight. Elisha asked her, what do you have in your house? The woman said, just a pot of oil. Elisha told her, gave her specific instruction, go borrow vessels, not a few, without anything in sight. You know, and God honored the woman's faith. She was able to write off her debt. There was also a widow of Sarephat, where Elijah, in 1 Kings 17, verse 13, Elijah demanded for the last morsel of bread. And do you know what? The Lord multiplied it. And Jesus Christ also with the blind men. There was a time, and when he had come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to him, Do you believe that I'm able to do this? They said to him, yes, Lord. You know, Jesus knew that he could do it, but he was trying to see the faith of the blind man. I was also a woman of Syro Phoenician woman. Uh, but Jesus said to her, let the children be filled first. You know, this woman was asking Jesus, you know, for healing. And Jesus said, do you know what? It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. Jesus called her a dog, and this woman was not offended in any way. She passed the test. You too can pass the test of faith. A faith that is not tested is not a real faith. So don't quit. Don't give up. Your faith may be going through test with your current situation. I pray you will pass that test, and you too will be an overcomer. Thank you.